please stand clear of the closing door. Oh, I hope I go in. It's, uh, it's Willie here from Engineering. Uh, engineering runs on two things, as far as I'm concerned. Cups of tea and these things. I'm always carrying one of these around. Uh, people are always asking me uh, what it is. Uh, and uh, this is a, a Stirling engine. Um, as, as part of your uh, engineering course here at Chesterfield College, uh, you'll, do, uh, you'll study advanced thermodynamics. Uh, and that's where we take uh, thermo, heat, and uh, we turn it into dynamics, which is things moving. Uh, this thing's quite clever. It's got a, a displacer in there and it's got a piston in there. And uh, the most important thing is, it's got no fuel. It's going to go back down again. It's got no fuel. Uh, this engine has no fuel in it whatsoever. Just fresh air, that's all. I can hear what you're saying in the background. Come on, Will, tell us how it works. But there's a problem. You haven't paid your course fees yet and you haven't enrolled. But if you're coming enrolled, uh, and join our course, especially the advanced thermodynamics, uh, you'll get to really understand how these things work. Just a little tip or a little starter, they were invented 3,000 years ago by the Egyptians and they used them to pump water uh, off, the, uh, off the Nile into the fields to irrigate their crops. Um, so uh, they're not new things, they're 3,000 years old. Gotta go now, see you later. Bye!